Fitness is undoubtedly one of the tenets of the White Room's education. All students, regardless of talent, reach extraordinary levels of performance, and you can too. The difference between you and the White Room students is simply that you have not yet learned about a particular fitness protocol, which leverages all the scientific research to skyrocket your progress. In this guide, you will learn about the workout plan that turned Aya Nakoji into the masterpiece. Additionally, you will go away with various tools to optimize your already existing fitness routine, and you will finally learn the answers to various common fitness questions. It doesn't matter if you are training at home or in the gym, if you are advanced or a beginner, watching this video will literally save years of your life living without the zest that comes with looking and feeling your best. So, let's sit up straight and lock in. The protocol we will talk about today is aimed at improving all aspects of your fitness. Ayana Koji does not only have strength, but also speed and endurance. The goal is not to be a bodybuilder, but to become a capable and well-rounded athlete. But before we address the workout routine, let's first talk about a behavioral-based tool to increase your fitness. Are you sitting right now? Then you should consider repetitively lifting your heel. A recent study actually suggests that doing these so-called soleus push-ups results in significant improvements in blood sugar regulation and metabolism. This could benefit you, particularly if you spend long periods sitting. As a side benefit, the extra muscle contractions, which result in promoted blood circulation, could also make you more alert and concentrated because of the extra oxygen to the brain. Another behavioral tool you can use on a rest day to aid your fitness progress is to leverage heat and cold contrast. What exact heat and cold exposure you should do depends on which means you have available. You could switch between a sauna and an ice bath, or simply between a hot and cold shower. The benefits are many. On one hand, you will experience improved recovery because of increases in growth hormone levels and reduced inflammation. On the other hand, there are also cardiovascular benefits. Heat exposure improves blood flow and circulation, while cold exposure induces vasoconstriction, followed by vasoconstriction dilation, which enhances cardiovascular health and function. Between sets, you should aim for deep relaxation, and as I have mentioned various times, the physiological sigh is a great tool for that. If you don't know how to do the physiological sigh, then pause the video and read the instructions on the screen. While we talk about breathing, if you want to set yourself up for a rapid recovery, then consider three to five minutes of deliberate slow breathing after your workout. This helps to downshift the nervous system, which has been shown to be beneficial for recovery. When it comes to how many reps you should do when strength training, it turns out that for hypertrophy or muscle building, you can do anywhere from five to 30 reps. If you want to prevent boredom, then you could switch your reps up every once in a while, but that depends entirely on what works for you. Also, the number of sets you do should be between 2 and 5. A number of sets on the lower end is recommended if you perform a high amount of reps, like 15, and a number on the higher end is recommended if you perform a low amount of reps, like 5. Lastly, I cannot give you a specific rest time between sets. Instead, you can check yourself with the four-factor rest model, which says you are ready to do your next hard set of any exercise if these things are true. You're not breathing heavy anymore, you feel strong again, and the target muscle itself can do either at least five repetitions, or as many repetitions, as gets you into your target rep range. Okay, now we are going to talk about the fitness program. Keep in mind that even if you do not have access to a gym, you can still adopt some parts. Also, it is good to get to know this program for a later point in time when you can access a gym. On the first day of this protocol, you are going to do a 60-minute Zone 2 cardio session. You know that you are in Zone 2 when you notice that your heart is beating faster than usual while you could still speak without being out of breath. Why exactly Zone 2? Training in this zone helps improve cardiovascular efficiency, enhances oxygen delivery to muscles, and builds endurance over time. Also, exercising in Zone 2 primarily utilizes fat as a fuel source, so it is perfect for you if you are looking to improve fat metabolism. What you do to get yourself in the target heart rate zone for 60 minutes is up to you. You could go for a slow jog, or even just shadow box. On day two, it is time for legs. Not skipping leg day is so important because when you train the large muscle groups of your body under substantial loads, you will get a systemic release of anabolic hormones like testosterone. In this protocol, I will suggest to you various exercises, but optimally, you should choose the exercises which work best for yourself and you can do safely. A good principle to keep in mind is that for each muscle group, find an exercise in which you get that muscle into a weighted stretch position, like the standing calf raise, where down at the bottom, it's 
weighted and you're in a deep stretch, as well as another exercise where you're getting contraction in the shortened position of the muscle. So for the calves, this would be a seated calf raise. For example, on leg day where you train hamstrings, quadriceps, and calves, the exercises you could do are leg extensions and barbell squats, leg curls and glute ham raises, and standing calf raises and seated calf raises. Day three will be a rest day. If you want to go the extra mile, you can do the heat and cold contrast practice on this day. Besides that, gentle stretching or just taking a walk in nature are beneficial activities. We have finally arrived at the push and pull day. Combining push and pull has multiple advantages. On one hand, it obviously saves you a lot of time, and on the other hand, you have the opportunity to get the more systemic, hormonal, and metabolic effects that occur when training multiple muscle groups together. The principle we talked about on day two still applies here. An example of how this day could look like is cable crossovers and incline bench presses, seated rows and pull-ups, overhead shoulder presses, and reverse flies and neck circles. Day five is where you again do cardiovascular training, but this time you will aim for around 30 minutes of exercise while being at 80% of your maximum heart rate. Exercising at 80% of your HR max typically corresponds to a rating of perceived exertion of around 14 to 16 out of 20, where you feel like you're working somewhat hard to hard. This type of exercise enables you to train multiple fuel systems for the muscle and multiple aspects of the heart, which is exactly what you need if you want to become a well-rounded athlete like Ayano Koji. Day six is probably the day which you will load the most because here is where you will do high intensity interval training. The point is to get yourself to 100% of your max heart rate or in other words, to go all out for 20 to 30 seconds and then to slow down for 10 seconds only to repeat this around 10 times. You could do this by switching between sprinting and jogging for example, but be aware of the increased potential for injuries. Safer options are using a rower or an assault bike. The good thing is that the high intensity also enables you to get additional strength and hypertrophy benefits in the leg. Thanks. On the last day of this fitness program, you will train arms, neck, and calves. Potential exercises for this day are dumbbell curls, incline curls, chin-ups, dips, and overhand extensions, standing calf raises and seated calf raises, and neck circles. Okay, bro, respect for actually having the attention span to be able to watch up to this point. If this video performs as usual, this alone puts you past 75%. You are the reason I keep making these videos. By the way, if you have not yet liked and subscribed, consider doing so to show the algorithm that you want to see more productive content like this. Remember, you become the average of those you spend the most time with, and our primal brain can't really distinguish between real-life interactions and online content like this. Also, if you want to further optimize your health, definitely check out my morning routine and sleep video. 